Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Out Loud Trading Room. My name is Anka Metcalf, and today is Thursday. It is October 29th. It's 9.22 a.m. Eastern Town time. <laughs> All right, let's get started. But before, please give me a quick sound check and also a video check. Let me know if you guys can see the charts that are displayed. I have six charts displayed, and I'm on the mic. Okay, thanks so much, everyone. First off, economic releases. Uh, we have had a lot of releases last night. This morning, we had Myrna that reported earnings, Nokia, ShopSpot, um, Overstock also reported earnings, uh, Kraft, uh, and Yum products that, uh, that, I'm, that I'm watching, and also RCL, okay? So mixed bag of earnings into today's session. Uh, and uh, that lead, leads us to economic releases. So we're not yet out of the woods yet. This morning, we had the advanced GDP. Uh, we also had unemployment claims and hence the bounce into the market. We also had the advanced GDP price index. And at 10 o'clock, we have pending home sales. Remember, pending home sales has a moderate reaction on the market. So we can expect some kind of price gyration into that area. All right, and this is on the economic front. Now let's take a look at the charts and let's see what we have going on for today. The overnight trading session has bounced. So yesterday we saw that the price was very choppy to the downside, yet no shorting patterns were present because of the massive support zone that I have showed you yesterday multiple times onto the daily chart. We're sitting, sitting still on massive, massive daily support. Every single time throughout 2020, throughout 2019, throughout 2018, every single time we had a crash with velocity, this, these support levels held and it propelled the price higher. Hence our bias for the long bias yesterday. Also, we don't want to play novice and jump into trades and say, oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to give it. I'm going to wing it. I'm going to go short and whatever. No, you have to have a pattern in order to go short. You don't have a pattern to go short. You don't go short. If you have a pattern for a long, you go long. But if you don't have a pattern for a long, then you sit on your hands as well. So you have to wait for a pattern. Pattern recognition is everything. You see a rotation. You take it. You don't see a rotation. You just sit on your hands. We don't trade when we have avalanche down a sequence of two to three bars, four bars to the downside. We're not jumping into trades. We did the same when the price was running to the upside. Oftentimes we saw the price rally one bar, two bars, three bars, four bars. We're not forcing trades. Okay. So therefore we see a pattern, we trade, we don't see a pattern, we sit on our hands. And today the current environment is sit on our hands. We do have some levels. Number one, we do have a confluence level here, including the 200 SMA uh, into the Dow. So we have massive support into the 150, 200 to 150. This can potentially be a moderate bearish scenario if we move below the 288 spot. But remember yesterday, we did have multiple tap. I mean, take a look at the poor souls that shorted yesterday. We're waiting for a short in the afternoon trading session. And we did have a support level from yesterday right here into the 400. And I said, okay, bottoming tail, bottoming tail, bottoming tail, bottoming tail, bottoming tail. And then into the close, remember we were expecting uh, we were expecting the price to rotate and to have a ramp because this is the norm 95% of the time on overextended days to the downside or to definitely to the downside. We can expect a ramp profit taking. The fact that there was no profit taking into the New York trading session, this is massive distribution. We kind of sensed that there is massive distribution yesterday because we saw that there was no rotation on the five. There was literally no rotation on the 15. There was just a trigger right here into 12 o'clock and then back into the failure pattern, into the sideways range. We can potentially be moderately bullish above 640, 
But today's going to be a day where I'm going to wait for these levels to be tested. Anything in between has very high odds of stopping out. If we do something, just trade it with a very minimum size, way less than half, go to a quarter of a size or just sit on your hands until we find something that is very probable. We can expect a one hour rotation. So in the Dow over 480, 475 to 480, this could be a rotation higher. The problem is that it only has about 20 to 20 to 25 cents, uh, 20 to 25 points into the moving average here where we do have cluster resistance. We do have resistance from the 10 EMA, from the 20 SMA, plus from all of these bottoming tails to the left-hand side. If we consolidate here, this could be a bear sandwich down. And I know somebody mentioned it here in the room. I just want to say congratulations for identifying that pattern. Okay, let me see. Who said it? Sammy down, Gary, you got it. Gary, awesome. Okay, um, so again, Gary has identified this could be, could, this could possibly be a bearish sandwich below this spot right here into the 280. But again, remember high volatility, plenty of stops. So we're going to go with double the stop, right? Double the stop and half or a quarter of the risk. Okay, so we, we can have, you know, more space for our trade development. Same scenario in the ES, same scenario in NASDAQ, same scenario in Russell. We have the bearish below and the, I would say, very moderate bullish above, especially the S&P. S&P is getting into a lot of gyrations. Uh, but 3,300 would be that moderate bullish above. So you, it, it really needs to prove a lot. However, if it starts trading over 87 towards 90 and any pullback into the 80s, that is going to be a sweet spot for a continuation into the 3300. If we break today's low, the overnight low, we can potentially be bearish below back into this area of 30 to 30. NASDAQ, shallow overnight, uh, overnight bounce. We can potentially be bullish above, and these are confirmation zones, the 2290 spot ish. Okay. We can potentially go hourly up right here because we have a pattern, right? Is this a pattern? One, two down, rotating. If it trades above the prior high, it's going to issue what? Continuation, right? So we can potentially have a continuation from this prior high over 20. So over 20 with confirmation that can possibly run into this dotted line into this moderate bullish above Russell on the same pace. It could potentially be bearish below, but again, here it has a cluster of support from 1525 all the way into this prior low that we set in the overnight trading session into the 29 ish spot. So it needs to break 25 in order to start continuing lower. And it has a it has some room. It has some room. I'm not very excited about this because it still has some layers of support here into the 1520s. And then again, here we have a minor support cluster. This is a, again a massive confluence support zone because it's coming from a minor support zone from 723. And this is a support spot right here, it's resistance right now, but it's a massive support spot that is coming from June 9th. So I left it as support right here, because if the price is gonna break above this prior support, this is the area where it can create that hook and punch higher, okay? So right now we're gonna take the charts to smaller time frames. I don't have a favorite for today. I don't have anything. I'm not favoring longs. I'm not favoring shorts. I'm just trading technical patterns. I'm never jumping in trades and never doing stupid, stupid stuff. Okay. All right. So, um, okay. So we just have to watch for two things right now. Number one, we need to watch for divergency. And number two, we need to wait and see if there's a pattern development from the prior overnight lows. Because if we're creating small sequences with higher highs, the odds are that we may continue higher and try to sustain that bottom. 
But if we don't, and if we're sideways, then we're going to start going lower, okay? The first clue of a bullish buy for the trading session today, and at least it's not gonna be an overall bullish for the whole entire day. So we're gonna talk about 30 minute sequences. So if we're gonna get that one hour rotation, we're most likely gonna be bullish for the next, I would say 20 to 30 minutes. So we're gonna take it in very, very small, small increments. All right, so it's just gonna be watching some charts right now at the open, nothing off the open. So we're just gonna watch for some really good defined trading opportunity here. And I'm gonna take questions after the first hour or when we're done with trading. So right now it's active watching, not gonna answer any questions right now. So far, we're just creating the balance for today's trading session. Uh, they're just balancing the first five minutes of balancing. NASDAQ a little stronger. Dow stocks are a little bit under pressure this morning. Financials are still lower. Double bottom and Morgan Stanley. NASDAQ a little stronger and the same theme that we had yesterday, a little bit of relative weakness in the Dow, in the Dow, the S&P sideways, rest a little weaker. And again, the same thing that we had yesterday, we had one relatively uh, strong index with uh, uh, other indices that had relative uh, weakness. And this makes it really hard, really hard to have a clear directional bias. Morning, Mary. Uh, gold, silver, platinum under pressure. Um, copper uh, sideways, palladium still sideways. 
Um, ethanol is higher today and we're having a weak crude that broke below resistance right here. Like I said, crude has been trading in a very wide range. I'm not gonna call any trades in this. I did mention the fact that if it breaks below this spot of 30, uh, I it's kind of like 30, 36.5 to uh, 36. 36 would be the breakdown spot, so the dollar down. But you have to use a stop all the way above 42, um, 42, 20 or so. All right. So uh, what we're seeing right now is that we're having um, still some relative strength maintenance in NASDAQ while we're having a weaker Russell. So I'm going to go here and readjust these charts. Uh, no new high in the VIX. Uh, yesterday, the VIX made a new high, and right now they're range bound from the overnight trading session. Bonds are sideways, totally sideways. We had a doji yesterday, and uh, We're under a uh, death cross formation on the daily. So sitting on the 50 SMA. So the daily, ha the daily has tons of support into the, um, into the 71.20. Okay, dollar is higher today. Uh, Euro, uh, Euro is lower. We had uh, ECB uh, rate decision today. Yen is sideways, the pound is lower, Canadian dollar lower. All right, so now that we have two indices that have broken below the moderate bearish below, we're gonna have on watch, on watch, it's not gonna be something that gonna throw, be thrilled about, but we're gonna watch for some pullback and rotations from this moderate bearish below four possible shorts into the Dow. Dow being uh, Dow and Russell being the weakest, but Russell Russell is still the strongest index out there, you know, from the chart pattern, from the chart structure perspective. Uh, most of the commodities are lower. So uh, it's not very often that I look through the whole panel of commodities and everything, but there seems to be like massive liquidation all around, starting with oil and, you know, going through, uh, you know, coffee is, coffee is lower, lumber is lower, um, cocoa and cotton on a pullback. Soybeans are on minor support, but they look like they really want to come back in. Same with corn, wheat, rough rice, oats, etc. All right, so we're still seeing NASDAQ that is giving up a fight here. So as long as NASDAQ is giving up a fight here, this is going to be, again, a very interesting day. <laughs> Unbelievable. I closed Tupperware. Tupperware was one of our runner ups today, uh, yesterday. It had uh, earnings. We kept it through earnings and uh, massively up, <laughs> totally ignoring the market.
Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> or should I say, wow, we, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Unreal. Unreal. Uh, this, these are going to be like all of these stocks that had earnings and have had these gap ops. This, uh, this gap up bar for today from today is going to be on watch. And from usually if they gap up that gap up bar or gap down bar or whatever the case may be, it's going to be on watch, but especially for pins, Paul. Okay, NASDAQ holding and um, huge bottoming tail here. By the way, the ranges are incredibly high. This is one bar in the Dow where you see the low is um, 218, the high 355. Those, the, the risk level is really, really high in all of the trades today, just like yesterday. So a, a third, a quarter, half the trade, not full size today. Not unless we subside, not unless this volatility subsides a bit. Inside day in Apple, so NASDAQ stocks, Baba is incredibly strong. It, report, it, it reports earnings on November 5th. It doesn't have much time. But on any rotation in the market, this is going to go higher, right? Definitely. Very violent price action, five minute rotation here with the pin. Drama down and let's see back up. Now, if this is going to go like, but I need at least three candles, not pinch lower and then go back up. Like I'm not trading that. But if it goes slowly higher into this area, slowly, and we're seeing any kind of doji formation or any kind of rotation into this spot, this spot may be a short zone. Do not short it if the price is getting into this spot, okay, without a pattern. Don't do that. I know I got some questions, you know, yesterday, the day before yesterday, can we trade those levels? No, those levels are there to watch in terms of rotations. Very strong. They, did, they just took everybody here to the cleaners. If they were wanting con continuation, it was done. Remember the market loves to pull back, get it over with in one day or two days and then rotate. Wow. Okay, so you guys know what this is, right? What time is it? What time is it, guys? Mm. 
9.45. Okay, we have our first clue of 9.45 with, with authority, okay? So this usually happens when we're having some strength coming into the market. Okay, so Apple, Facebook, they're up. See how violent this market is? Very, very violent. You And by the way, um, you know, you guys know my husband trades. Okay, so he took a trade yesterday in NASDAQ and had 13 point slip. So talking about, because he was, you know, trading, he, he got in when the price got one of those very volatile pushes. Yeah, I, I don't know. Are you here? Okay, he can confirm. He can confirm. I'm not kidding you. And I'm not sure the trade worked for him. I think it was a stop, I'm not sure. But I was like, what? I know, I know, I know. Let me text him because he's in the other office. <laughs> so we text. <laughs> Send them a text. Okay, so now the price is it hovering into the highs. Oh yeah, I'm, I was shocked. I was shocked. Ah, not really, Eddie. Sometimes. Okay. So can you confirm? Okay, so I texted him. So he said he's in the room. Okay, can you confirm that you how how, how big of a slippage did you have yesterday? And was it Nasdaq? Was it Nasdaq? Oh no, it was in YM. I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. He said it was in YM 13 points. YM 13 points, no, sorry. YM 13 points. When you're putting an order, or even if you have an order, a limit order here, because he only uses limit orders, so, and when you're getting this price action that becomes so wild, and just punches higher, you make it slip. I, I've never had a slippage like that. So I, I don't know. I mean, that that's just crazy. Okay, so let's see what we have. So NASDAQ sideways, uh, the S&P is back into the range. Now YM is back into the range. YM is doing a two minute sell. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through this. Okay. Typically, when you have a pop into the range, this can become your stop, the 670, and you can short it under 300. Okay, so under 300. The problem is that when you're getting this um, real big move into the 945, because 945 is the Big, big uh, is one of the big and major reversal times in the market is actually the first one before 10 o'clock. So when you're getting this rotation that is really violent into 945, you're not going to look for a short, but you're going to look for a pullback, a hook, and a continuation higher. 80% of the traders, maybe 90% of the traders there can look for a short into this spot. Like I said, under 300 where we can punch it into the moderate below spot. But this would be ignoring that reversal that came into 945 that was really strong. Okay, and that was really strong. And this is mo mostly along going into the 90s. So if the price escapes over 70, it's gonna go into 80 or 90, okay, 80 or 90. All right, the, the stops are going to be astronomical today, just giving you a heads up. Let's 
All right, so we had the wash to the downside and now we're having this punch with authority to the upside. We're almost closing in on a 15 minute rotation. NASDAQ is the strongest. NASDAQ has the lead in everything, has done the one hour rotation. In fact, it's getting ready for a 15 minute punch higher. It has the prior doji on the 15 minutes. So this is going to be doji up. The problem with this trade is that the entry is over 45 and the stop is right here, 42. So 142. So you can't use this one. The New York trading session stop is just too sensitive for that. Uh, but if it trades, so, so that's the problem with volatility. In volatility, you're going to have like really wide stops and the follow through is going to be iffy. That's why you have to wait for patterns that are forming on, you know, smaller time frames because you could get a better shot at it. <sighs> Yeah, we all use thinkorswim. Yeah, thinkorswim. Hardwired, you know the drill. So we have the keyboard that is wired. Everything is wired. So there's nothing that, you know, would suggest that the, the execution would not be instant. Oh, it was while you were taking profit? Oh, okay. But it still sucks. Okay, so NASDAQ, one, two, five minute rotations, still into that 250, 250 to 275, massive resistance from yesterday's trading session and all the garbage that was in the overnight. And this is why you do not short this this spot right here, it can be moderately bearish below, but look, Doji rotated higher back lower. And this came with really tons of authority back into the highs. All right, I guess this could be turnaround Wednesday. We have a 15 minute rotation in progress in YM. YM is gonna trigger that 15 minute rotation over 430, but it has resistance at 450, and the risk for this trade is going to have to be all the way under 162. Actually, it's going to be under 147 right here for this spot if you want to take the 15. All right, so now we're going to transform our bias a little bit towards moderately bullish. NASDAQ is under pressure from the prior lows that we had in yesterday's trading session, 430, uh, 430 is maximum resistance. If it trades above that, like I said, there's a small spot into the four, 450. So these would be like, uh, hey, Josh, if you picked it up, keep in mind, this is target spot right here for um, 420s, 420s. But if we hold this area, we can lift a little bit higher to 450 and 460. See, this came in so uh, violent here into 445. This, this would have been very aggressive though. This was a counter. This was a short squeeze here. That's why we're, we're getting into the short squeeze. And by the way, the Dow is trading into the 200 simple moving average right now on the daily. So of course there's no shorting here. You know that right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. You guys can see it on your platform. Take a look. 
we have the 200 SMA right here. That's why it's reacting. So it came in to the 200 SMA and then rotated. That's what it is. It was an algo push right here. So now we have to wait and see. But right now, the, uh, the bias for today is a little bit towards moderate, uh, moderate bullish than bearish. We have just erased the first 10 minute, uh, 10 minute drop, 10 to 15 minute drop. See, I was expecting this bounce in yesterday's trading session. We should have gotten this in yesterday's trading session because we didn't have a cell pattern that was forming. And any cell pattern that formed into yesterday's trading session, because there was one that happened, uh, I think it was 12.30 or one o'clock. So that one that happened was still trading into a lot of support. Should have done that. If should have done this here bullish should have should have had this run here i i was hesitant i was too, too hes hesitant that was a great spot right there five minute rotation the candlestick was right And we have massive, 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 massive confluence area right here. Josh, you, you got the right trade. Um, if you're still in, let me know if you're still in. I could give you a trail spot or if you, or a trade idea. Okay. So, um, if I was in, uh, I would look on the one minute, I, I would trail 50 tight. I would trail 50 tight because you have a really good um, profit there. But if you wanna stay in, you have to live in through the pullback on the two minute or the five minute and put your stop at break even if you wanna see higher targets. Uh, the truth of the matter is the NASDAQ, you need to see it over 300. If it trades over 300, it's, you see this bullish above if it, it but it, there's an if, if the price is going to get there. So if the price is going to get there, it's going to do a short squeeze probably to 350 or 360. So now this would be my game plan here for NASDAQ and everything else to see a trade above to see how it handles this resistance between 280 and 300 and any pullback off of this uh, level, I'm going to take it long to possible target into 340. So you have targets, by the way, you, there's another target into 340, 350, 360, and then there's one 385. Yeah, shallow pullback into the 10 EMA and a rotation higher here. So like I said, if you want to keep it, you know, take a look at, you know, any shallow pullback. Okay. It needs to trade over 275 right now. It needs to see a print of 275. If it's getting over 275, it's going to uh, it's going to go there. It has a prior pivot high from yesterday at 3:30. And by the way, yesterday at 3:30 there was such a you know, a perfect illustration that it was a, such a massive distribution day, like massive distribution day because we didn't get any kind of a ramp, any kind of ramp. 
We closed almost at the lows. We made a new low at um, uh, 358. Okay, a little doji formation on the five minute and all of the indices. All right, so now the price is going higher, so you know, right? We're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. I was so hesitant on that. Uh, I would have nailed it here, but um, not going to tell you the reason why, but there was a reason why I didn't call that long there. And it was an exterior reason. So don't let anyone ever freaking influence you because otherwise you miss a move like this. Yeah, exactly. Because everybody says short. And that's just plain stupid. Like stupid, stupid, stupid. So mad at myself right now. I would have been the first one to take this rotation here in the Dow. Or the M &E, no, the any &E, &E, S and P no, but the Dow. I would have hammered the Dow. Okay, Josh, you got it. <laughs> you got the move. You got the move. Okay. Now, because I was, like I said, dumb. Um, it's my fault, my fault, my fault. No, you know, Keith, no, I was, I'm telling you, I was influenced. I was influenced. I'm not going to let that, and it bothers, you know, it bothers you because you go like, I'm going to second question myself. It's like, really? Did I miss a freaking short? You know, it's like, you have to be long biased in this market. Otherwise you're getting crushed. And you see these rotations that happen right here? And I'm like, nah, because what if it's gonna go? What if it's gonna go short? Oh man, what if I'm doing a mistake? Okay, so yeah. <laughs> no, I'm telling you guys, try to lock yourself from the exterior. You could care less what other people are saying. Just isolate yourself, just straight in the zone. Once you let someone influence you and say, hey, I want to go short. I really want to go short. Why did we go short yesterday? Because there was no freaking setup. That's why. So I'm not going to let myself influence anymore. Josh, good job. Good job. Now, any pullback is going to be viable in all of the indices. Josh is going to buy us the Big Mac. <laughs> He's going to buy all of us a Big Mac. Because <laughs> we don't even have money for a kid's meal, <laughs> for a kid's menu right now. Like we have zero. <laughs> and Josh is getting the Big Mac with the fries. <laughs> He's getting a Sunday. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put the oil here on a smaller time frame because if oil is going to start see the pin here I was I was watching it with on the with the corner of my eye here. CL already has a 30 minute rotation pending. 
This can be a short squeeze, but this is not for everyone. If it trades over 53, it's going to go into 76, but it's asymmetric. So it has a really, it sucks. The risk to reward ratio sucks here, but if it gets over 52, it's going to go into 75, 75, 70, 70 to 75. And then if it breaks over this, but again, here, there's a massive confluence. We have this pivot. We have uh, the prior low uh, from overnight. We also have, uh, we also have this uh, 10 EMA right here. So this could be a rotation right here, a squish, squishy to the upside. All right. Uh, and by the way, NASDAQ is going to be uh, bullish above that uh, 287, but not now. You have to wait for a setup. Okay. Don't jump in, guys, without a setup. If it breaks out without us, let it go higher. Because just don't jump in. That's when you do all the mistakes. Even if it's a purple line, after a massive rally, we have one, two, three, four bars to the upside. What do you think the bulls are going to do? They want to take a little break. They want to go for a smoke. <laughs> They're gonna like, Phew. we smoke those shorts. Okay. Exactly, Josh. You got it. Josh got it. Josh, give us your next trade. Give us your next trade. Okay, here is uh, oil. I'm not going to post it. I'm not going to post it. I gave you the levels. 52 is going to, it's not a trade for everyone because the stop has to be below the low right here. NASDAQ, very, very, very strong. Took out yesterday's range. Now it should be ready for a short squeeze. This is what we have been waiting for yesterday. And we were 100% right on the money, by the way. We're waiting for that. Uh, oh, yeah, I want to show you something here. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> this, is, um, uh, this is yesterday's trading session. So we came in. Did you have a setup? Just someone show me if there was a setup right here. Okay. Well, there was a setup right here. There was one that happened in the afternoon. And it actually triggered at 1230. And this was like a mini cluster breakdown all the way to here, consolidation and broke lower. But it happened in the afternoon. There was no shorts setups into the morning session. Zero. Zero. And now, now, if we break over this 90 spot right here, we're going to go higher. Okay. This is going to be the short squeeze into the 343. Okay. No setup yet. It's it's a little um sandwich. It's coming into 10 o'clock. We should have some kind of reversal because you can see it here. This is 10 o'clock high, and we're starting to reverse. I want to see the pullback at least into the 250 to 240 area. We may get it or we may not get it. Uh, let's see what the risk would be here. If we get it on the fly, that would be like 90 by 60. Now it's 10 o'clock reversal time. We need to get a pullback all the way into the 240 to 250 spot. Let's just wait for that. Uh, and Kate, we want to see oil strong. We want to see a, a strong oil. So we went to 65. You can see it here. It went to 65. The target is 70 to 73. Okay, let's see if we could take this little baby down right here into this uh, 240, 250 to 240. NASDAQ is going to be on watch. Also, YM, by the way. Sometimes I like to take these um, 
pre-market data off. They're so noisy. I don't, I don't like to see the uh, overnight session sometimes. NASDAQ is the best looking guys. If we get a pullback into the 10 EMA and if we're holding uh, the Dow into the same spot, 10 EMA and all of these indices, One hour already rotated and tapped into the 10 EMA and uh, in NQ. So it's only normal for the pullback. um we're hourly resistance right now not daily resistance we're we we just popped off support today so the pop today came actually at 200 today 200 came with velocity this is the daily support right here so this is the daily support this is an hourly support i don't have the extended session on here so maybe i should put it on You see it right here. So we came in in the overnight trading session. We revisited the prior low, well, ever so slightly, because this is a higher low. That's why we had the uh, we had the strongest bounce, and we are back into this uh, resistance right now. If we break above this resistance over 88, 90, I would say 90 level. So we really need to break out a uh, break a little harder above, and we also have this peakable high from the overnight trading session. That is into the 96. So 90 to 97 ish zone right here would be a break. That would assure the price to go with ease into the next target for a short squeeze. So right now we're back into that 250. We, we also said that we want to see that 240 to 250 hold. And let's take it back down to the five. See, now we have some kind of pullback. So now if the price is going to try to punch higher over 90, we have an area where we can place our stops. So far, these pullbacks are not bad. But they came in again, and it's all that volatile environment. It's not okay. We're getting closer to ten thirty. Remember, ten thirty is that nice reshuffling, calibration, and possible rotation. The two minute rotation is getting ready to kick in. There's a 15 minute that is not very happy. I'm not very happy with the last 15 minute candle in the indices. 
Uh, it's a doji, it's sitting on support, but if it breaks below support, so if NASDAQ is gonna break below 30, I don't know, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Two minute rotation already kicked in. We have the pullback to the 10 EMA here on the five. So everything in NASDAQ so far, it's good. The entry is still over 90 and there's still a high pressure sell zone all the way to 97, but the entry is 90 but it really needs to get over 97. So I'm gonna type it in here because if it's coming, it's gonna come out fast. And that's right, it's a long. Oops. Uh, targets. All right, these are the targets and the rest will be established by trailing. Why am I, why am has already triggered the rotation and you could actually get, let me see NASDAQ earlier right now. Let's see. No, it needs to get over this high. No. Okay. And uh, if you guys want an SMP idea, like I said, I'm doing NASDAQ, but if you want an SMP idea, it needs to trade over um, over 88. So if you want to do uh, it's going to be 3288. If you want to do it's either do um, I know some of you like to trade ES and the stop is going to have to be 69, the first target is going to be 90, 95. Yeah, 95 is the big target and then 30 and then 3300, 00, if you want to do that. Okay, let me know if you guys want any other ideas here. Don't ask me about Russell. Russell, I don't like. I don't like Russell. Um, YM still needs to get over 500. 
that would be why I'm idea long over 500 by 345 and you're going to look for targets into 550 yeah three trade ideas so far <clears throat> Uh, TB, NASDAQ is posted above. NASDAQ is posted above. MNQ is the same as NQ, Philip. MNQ is the same as NQ. MNQ is the same. Of course. And that's a bull flag on the one hour, by the way, in all the indices. And a double bottom rotation off of support from the daily into the weekly support. See oil, yeah, Lori, oil is already dissolving higher here. So oil entry was 52. So NASDAQ hit uh, just target one so far and it had a high of 303. I had a I had a second target at 303, but I erased it. We have uh, uh, we have some divergency in 303 and 308. That's why these are the first two targets. Okay, slow down in the momentum. The trade is setting up nicely here. If you guys, if any of you guys are in oil, let me know. Like I said, I'm not gonna post it. It's not a trade for everyone. So So right now, if anyone is in oil, uh, remember our last target into the 70 right here. Okay, your stop should be 70, 3570 in oil. Trail stop 70, 3570 in oil. So far we have <clears throat> we have the original stop because we didn't have that high velocity. You can see that we're we're lacking the high velocity above. We're lacking. So we don't have those high velocity areas anymore. Charts are very choppy, very, very choppy. So uh yeah, we, we keep the original stop until we get um until we get going. Uh, Ramesh, NASDAQ, not only did that trigger, but it hit target one already. Uh, the trade was typed in the room at 1022. I talked about it at 
10 15 to 10 20 Um, Kevin, the one on the five minute, the one on the five. It's not as scary because it's a five minute. A little bit more scarier is this one, the, the 50 SMA on the 15. But the fact that the price is here, it means that it wants to chew up this, this uh, chop that was in the overnight trading session. You see this support and resistance, the price is right there in the middle. So it's gonna go back and forth. It's probably gonna wanna pull back 80 and it definitely needs that 97. So it needs to break above that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, guys, set up limit orders when we discuss about entries. But Rami, here's the thing. It's right there right now, okay? So you could still get it. Two ninety. So it, it went up, but here it is. It was there again. Okay, Michael, no slippage. Who had a slippage here at TV? Did you have a slippage? You mean two points, two whole points, two points. Oh my goodness. Are you using um, TOS or IB? You know what I have noticed is that we have never, and if you, you guys can recall, you guys have been in here for a very long time. Some of you, oh, oops, sorry. Um, I meant to type it on my platform to see a different time frame. Um, I've noticed that you guys are getting slippage, and sometimes, like I said, my husband got slippage, slipped on why in 13 points yesterday um, with a limit order. Here's the 300 again. This is target one again, so it's consolidating into the highs. We need to break that 300 in NASDAQ. I've noticed that when we have high high volatility, uh, it's always a case of uh, slippage. Probably it's gonna just get worse as we're getting into election. Okay, so remember that CL is still holding the 75 for those of you that are still in oil. Doji man, you're awfully quiet. Oops, sorry about that. I knocked something off my desk. Okay, now we're looking for 308. Okay, TB. You think it's mostly MYM? I don't know. It's it's just weird. It's just super weird. Okay, so for those of you that are uh, in ES, remember you just hit your target one, even though it's only two points, but you hit target one. Look for 95, not much to go into 95. We have a high of 93.5 here. 90, 95 and the whole number and um, In uh, YM, it looks like it wants to go to 550, but very, very, very choppy price action. So we hit again. We were three ticks away from 308 from target. Um, target two in NASDAQ.
Oh, I didn't. Yeah, because I was talking about entries in ES and NQ. But hey, when I post the trade for the stock for the for the trade, I already put in my limit order. So that's how I can talk about SMP and and uh, NYM. No, no. When I post the trade, I place my order, I post the trade, and then I move on. Because I don't need to watch it. I don't need to watch it. All it needs to do is trigger. So there's no use for me just watching it. After it triggers, then I watch it for trailing. But other than that, I don't. So right after I finished posting NASDAQ, I moved and provided trade for ES and YM. And I said, ES can be a long 3288 by 69. And I was calculating the targets. I cannot calculate the targets in ES by looking at NASDAQ. So I have to look at ES. So that's why I have my order already placed. And then I can move on and look at other things. Good job, Sam, on CL. Good job, Sam, on CL. Good job. Uh, the next target is uh, 36, 3610 and 3615. Mike, you had no slippage on MNQ. Awesome. Awesome. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So the next, yeah. Uh, yeah. 36, 3610 to 3615 is the next spot. Sam. Okay. So NASDAQ is coiling into that resistance spot. I'm not changing my trail because I have nowhere to place it. I know his mark is so freaking choppy. Yep. My words exactly. <laughs> like I said, we need to see it over 308. If it gets over 308, it's going to start going, but it really needs to print that 308. 300 to 308 is that chop fest zone. Shark infested area <laughs> between 300 and 308. But once we see a clean print of 308, it's going to go higher. If it's not going to do that, then it's going to coil here for a little longer. And it's 1035. We trigger continuation on the 15, so we're still good. Okay, so for those of you that are in oil right now, raise the stock just a little bit to uh, just a little bit. Um, no, you can't raise the stop. It's still 3570. Still 3570. Yeah, the trade was extremely asymmetric and it had a really horrible risk level. Like I said, the entry was 52 and the stop was 90. We have to keep the stop intact. We cannot change the stop. And no, this is not a short. 
The reason for it is because this is daily support right here. And you can see that we have consolidated off a of daily support. This is daily support from the weekly perspective and from really massive coil into this 11,200. And we can see here that we call, so we have a low, we have a higher low, we have a higher low right here. So no, we cannot short. It's not that I don't want to short, is that it's not technically correct to short. Let's hope that this consolidation, and remember that we're going for the bigger picture right here. So we want to see the price. So Anna, if you want to start your rubbing process, you want to rub it into the 40s. <laughs> don't stop until it hits 40s, <laughs> the 40s. <laughs> <clears throat> we have two more minutes into the next decision. And within the next two minutes, we need to see the price start printing 87 and 88. We're trending off of the 10 EMA. SMP is punching through target one again. And you're very close to that 550 in YM, 550 target in YM. Very close, very close. No changes in trails. Seven points away from target one in YM. Seven points. <laughs> Laura. Anna will get you a gift certificate for the best spa in Sedona. <laughs> By the way, Lori, Anna, remember? Remember we talked about doing a retreat in Sedona? <laughs> yeah, we were thinking about doing like a girl's kind of retreat in Sedona. <laughs> do you remember Lori? yeah it was like when did we talk about last about Sedona? i was like i don't know <laughs> seven years ago probably okay tv target two right on stay in you don't you cannot trail at this point no trailing okay yeah and why am target right here target so right now your trail is 550 in YM, YM trail 550. Five fifty trail in YM. The next spot is six hundred. Keep everything active, all the trades. <laughs> Those slippers. Do you remember? Okay, so let's see what we have going on. So ES, ES still has room, guys, for hire. Still has the 3,300. And this is support, like I said, I kept it as support. I know it's resistance, but it's still support from yesterday and the day before yesterday and weeks, weeks, weeks before, okay? So that's why it the price, what the price did yesterday crashed below the support spot and then it bounced back up. You could see it bounced back up into the support area. This is going to be decision zone right here, by the way, in SP. If this is a do or die, okay, this is the do or die at 3300. 
Come on, NASDAQ, one more pop. I'm a little concerned that NASDAQ didn't pop along with these indices here. And this would have been the move. Come on, NASDAQ, you can do it. S&P did, YM did. Uh, S&P lock in at 90. Lock it in at 90. And no changes in NQ. Russell's still going strong. Russell is, uh, like I said, structurally wise, is the strongest pattern out of all the indices. However, it's the messiest pattern. Really hard to trade. <laughs> you were so young. Well, Anna, we started trading when we were like, what? 10 years old, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, raise the stop in oil to 80, 35, 80 in oil. Thirty-five eighty in oil trail. All right, so you should be out in. Um, you should be out right now uh, in YM. YM is trailed out. YM is trailed out. Has that little tiny resistance spot there. And it's not really the 200 SMA here that really doesn't have a lot of significance, but it's this chop to the left-hand side. Because you can see what happened here. So we broke above here. So we really didn't binge off of that 200 SMA. I think that we may have room for higher, but like I said, for why am I only saw that, um, um, I saw the five, the. 550 and the 600 and it's just stalling here trailed out boom still good all good five minute tiny baby rotation here uh in nasdaq and little doji right now just needs to punch in yeah it really needs to break that 1300 So here's my thought, you know, there are two things that can happen. I'm not going to talk about the, the, the downside because I don't want to jinx it, but like Keith said, you really need to break 300. You really need it. Like really, really need it. Made a high of 98.75, 9.45. Now, here's the thing. If it trades right now, if it prints right now, oh, okay, it did 300, it's going to go back into the 307. And remember, we need 308. 308 is going to be that launch pad, 308. So we need to see 308.25 or anything above 308, we're happy. Come on, 308. Uh, Dan, we have 315 after 308, but we need, yeah, first we need the 308. Then we have 315, 320. Then pretty much it's going to be via tra trailing.
We cannot change the stop. We cannot change the stop. We cannot make any changes. NASDAQ slow down. And by the way, Google is so strong. Daily rotation is right on the verge of that daily rotation. Netflix is weak though, but we're having powerhouses like Google, Nvidia, Baba, super strong, super, super strong. We're having Facebook and Apple, very strong. Semiconductors are very strong. Poised for a daily rotation and going for a gap build there. Square strong, PayPal relatively strong. Original stop still. <sighs> you guys are cracking me up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, come on. Okay, it's back into the 10 EMA. Russell still holding very strong. <laughs> Ralph. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she hates vodka. For Anna's chocolate liqueur. <laughs> and some nice Moscato wine. And Lolita's. That's right, we're dipping Leonidas in champagne. Well, we're gonna dip some Leonidas in champagne if we get this NASDAQ over 300. <laughs> okay, so you can see that so far YM it wants to break above this spot. So YM is setting up for a little uh, push uh, into the 640. So here are the parameters, uh, you know, 585, if it trades, uh, if it trades, oh, 583, it would be okay. If it trades over 583 and then if it holds 30, so it would be 83, 83 by 30, 83 by 30, and then it can run into 600, 626, uh, 640-ish. Okay, if we hold this little segment here, okay, so the entry would be only over this 80, 83 to 84, if this 30 holds. Oh, come on, NASDAQ, don't do this to us. CL is trying to hold the 36, but still the trail has to be still 3580. 
Uh, Michael, you mean you trailed out at 90? Okay. Okay. Come on, NASDAQ. We need NASDAQ to do a five minute now. See, that's what I talk about relative strength and weakness all the time. You know, it's just, it just has that pressure point um, into the 300 really needs to get that 308 out of the way. All right. Um, if the price gets over nine, eight, I'm sorry, 85, it's gonna go back again to 95 and the whole number. So the first the first bar barrier is 85. So now we need to see a print of 85. Okay, decision time. It's 1055. Now's the time to see a print of. Now we need a print of 80. 83. All we need is a print of 83 right now. I don't like the fact that the momentum has slowed down. I don't. It's not a good thing. It's too early for the momentum slowed down. And we have our winner. We have a print right into the 85. So not only that we have the 83, we have the 85. Now we need to get it over that purple line of 87. 87.75, over 87.75. Yikes, YM and ES pulling back. Not good. Wow, YM and ES were really quick, really, really quick. Oil follow through, oil is helping the market, oil is helping ES, helping the Dow, uh, helping, yeah, helping the Dow. We're engaged into the 15 minute rotation right now, but in the context of a cluster. So you know what that means. Chop fest. Okay. 
Here we go. Have a high of 92.5. By the way, we have a little lid here in the Dow and Dow is the same concept. So the entry remains the same over 82 to 83. 83 would be best if you want to do it. I'm not going to do YM this time. So, but if you want to do it, 83 and the stop is going to be under 90 and you're going to look for a target into 600, 620 and 640. Going to stick with NASDAQ this time around. Okay. Uh, if you guys are still in CL, the trail is $36. Thirty-six. We need three oh eight. I put 308.25. We also have this uh, peekable high here into the same area. So it's going to be like a double thing to take it out here. Um, do I see an entry in now stock? 370.5. Oh, MES. Okay. Three in MES 307. You mean like over that? NASDAQ. Oh, you mean over the high, over the high, the 307? The, this can potentially be another breakout spot. Yeah, absolutely. So this could be another, but since we have the entry here, you can still leg in into that 90 and get an earlier entry, but the stops is still the same. The stop is still 240 there. But yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a range breakout. And that is the pop. This is the confirmation for the breakout right here. Um, yeah, pretty much. It's a 15 minute doji high. <clears throat> Excuse me, <clears throat> 15 minute doji high as well. Perfect. Yeah. We have to keep the same stop, by the way. Same stop. We cannot change the stop for any reason. And it's still, yeah. It NASDAQ should have um should have ran.
What a stall in momentum right now. Uh, Phyllis, no, it, it was out at 550. It's out at 550. Out at 550, YM. It hit 550 and I said it has room for higher. The next target is 600, but the trail stop is 550. So it trailed at 550. This is, this is not a trade anywhere. We were waiting for a second entry over this high over 83. Never ran into 83. We were looking at possible rotation spots here to try to pin the stop. No second trade in YM. No second trade in ES. Uh, and uh, m and &E s &P hit the 90 and also hit the 95. And the trail was 95. And the trail, I'm sorry, the trail was 90 in ES. The second trade in of uh, the second trade in YM never triggered. It's over 83. The second trade is over 83, and we need to look for a pivoting spot. We don't have a stop yet for it. Ew, I don't like this momentum. <laughs> I don't like the momentum. I don't like it. I don't like the Dow here. I don't like the SP here. Because this could mean it's coming in with, with some force here. So YM is not into a buy spot whatsoever. No buy spot. We were talking about possible entry over 83, um, around 1045, 1050, right here, even into this spot. But we never had a rotation, so the momentum is still down for it. And let's check this out. The 20 SMA is still holding the price there. I don't like the fact that the price is coiling into the 10 EMA. Don't like it one bit because the more the price is pinching below that 10 EMA, especially on this five minute, it's losing momentum. So not, not good. Right now we need to see it again over 87.75 in order to regain the momentum. So Apple, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, uh, Comcast had earnings and very strong. Disney, um, these are some of the stocks that are green. We also have UPS and FedEx. Uh, we have uh, financials that are stronger today. Visa, MasterCard, Citi, JP Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. So financial sector is green on the day. Um, also, industrials are green. Um, UPS, like I said, UPS is up big, four over four percent. FedEx, uh, uh, two, two over two percent. Um, railroads are also NSC and uh, CSX are green. Uh, QCOM, uh, three percent up. So NASDAQ should not have any technical reason why it should not be up today. So um just looking at some charts here and after
after the close today, we have Apple and Amazon, Facebook and Twitter, Google that are reporting earnings. So we, we may see a uh, NASDAQ <laughs> range bound until four o'clock. Just saying, not fun. But this is the reason why we would be probably stuck into this formation. Uh, Google runner up, Amazon range bound, Apple, strong but it's also trying to do a daily rotation facebook is very strong uh and twitter by the way brand new high today brand new high today 52 bucks today um we also have starbucks that it re that reports today team so we do have some um I hope not, Josh, <laughs> I hope not. I don't want a 15 minute pullback here. I want this consolidation to happen and to blast this away because I want out. <laughs> I want out. And by the way, CL is still holding 36. I told you like all the trades that are setting up, they're gonna be asymmetric. All the trades are asymmetric. Okay, sure, I can repeat the earnings today. So we have after the close. So these are companies that report after the close. Uh, these are the biggest ones. There, there's a plethora of other companies that are reporting, but the biggest ones are Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Twitter, Google, Starbucks. These are the biggest. All right, just holding my breath here. Let's see the 15 minute segment. This one came to, yeah, this is an okay ish area. All right, see on the two minute, not a short, not a short. Let me repeat it again, not a short. Okay, this is not a short right here, not a short. As long as you're having a massive range in NASDAQ, you're having the shallowest pullback ever in SP. Not a short. Uh, all right. So I think that why if Wyman is going to start getting again over 500, this is going to uh, try to have another run for about 50 points here. We're all we're losing momentum a lot here. A lot of momentum lost. And by the way, CL trailed out for those of you that are, were following the trade. There's a five minute rotation pending and ES. This is going to be decisive. If S&P and YM is going to rotate, if it's gonna rotate here, uh, all of the indices are gonna go higher, okay? All the indices are gonna go higher. Here it is, they're already rotated, but we need to maintain this strength for another three minutes. So in not, it's not just that we triggered, we need to maintain that strength. Come on, NASDAQ, break over 308.
Come on. Remember, these are going to decide the fate of the breakout, the correlation between YMSMP and even, uh, even Russell is going to decide the fate. Back into 300. Bring the champagne bottles out. <laughs> Little baby target. <laughs> okay. Come on, 308. Okay, then 15. Don't forget, we have the uh, 08s, we have the 15, but if we break over 08, things are going to look a little better. Okay, we have it. We have the 08s. I just offered some out. I think that pop, <laughs> see how it came in with volume? A lot of us had offers into that uh, into that uh, 308 to 310. I had mines at 308. So I'm a little bit out at 308. <laughs> you too, Laurie. That's why I had the pop. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh my goodness. All right. Now we need to see it over that 315, and then we can bring the stop on the wrist to break even and let it go to 320. Okay. And we close this five minute segment right here. Beautiful. We closed the five minute segment. Good job, Michael. <laughs> That's great. Did you get, you know, just curious, did you get slipped on the offer out? Because sometimes that happens. You want to offer it out at 308 and then it takes you out higher. No slip. Okay. Because sometimes you want to get in at 308 and it takes you out, at, I don't know, 309. Okay. Here's the 315. Run, baby, run. All right, now we um, we don't want to be complacent because we had such a good day today. Definitely, Anna is helping a lot. So uh, just so you guys know, um, Anna loves Leonidas chocolates. Just letting you know ahead of time. Anna likes Lonita's chocolates, okay? <laughs> she doesn't like any other chocolates, just Lonita's. I can give you the, uh, the website where you can order them from. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Lori, we gotta, we gotta do the Sedona after this uh, coronavirus. Um, or I'm thinking, I'm thinking we could get a head start, go to Sedona, and if there's going to be a lockdown, I would be happily locked down in Sedona. <laughs> I would be so happy. Oh my God, Michael. <laughs> oh my God, that is hilarious. <laughs> No kidding. They're on Amazon. I didn't know they're on Amazon. Oh my God. That's awesome. Um, you know what? I've been to Sedona, but I have never stayed in Sedona. I've either stayed in Phoenix or flag of uh, flag, flag staff, flag staff. I love that area. Here it is 15 again. Come on. No trailing yet, guys. If you guys have been to Sedona and can recommend a place there, we could all get, we could all do a lot down there. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. Oh my God, Meaty, you're in, um, I love, 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 love Arizona and Phoenix. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, come on. We're one tick away from 20. I mean, literally one tick away from 20. We had a print of 1975. Except in the summertime, hey, we're just gonna have cocktails inside. <laughs> we're just gonna have cocktails inside. We were there, I think it was October and the weather was perfect, perfect. 
Okay, guys, 20, it's right around the corner. Scale some out at 20. If you have some, if not, trail with me. Okay, we're over 20. So I know, I, I, I mean, it's just beautiful there. Hey, we should do, we should do a, uh, we should do a get together. We should do a get together. We should do like, um, you know, a big group so we could get like really great discount on rooms and stuff. And we could do like a really nice retreat. Oh, that would be amazing. I love the Grand Canyon. Oh my goodness. Love it. Okay, no trail stop yet, guys. I'm chatting, but I'm also like watching the charts. No trail stop yet. Yeah, we should definitely plan something. We all need it. We all need to get away. We all need to get away. Okay, so I don't know. I'm thinking of choking 15. I think of choking 15. Fifteen. Let's chop. Fifteen. 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 Fifteen and out. Okay. Three fifteen. Three fifteen. Trail fif three fifteen. Just place my trail stop right now. Okay. Three fifteen. Place it at three fifteen. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. Don't let it go below three fifteen. Okay, 315. Don't let it go below 315. Because it needs to hold this sandwich. If not, it can pull back to 309. And then from here, it could have a little gyration and pop back up, or it could go down. So it's too much of a risk for me. Okay, we have issued continuation. We have a brand new little high. Brand new little high, 23.5. I'm telling you, like, I'm not giving any profits back. Okay, we have the 25s. Okay, let's go, 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 go. That's nice. That's nice. 30s. We have the 30s. We have the 30s. That's good. We have room to 40s. We have room to the 40s. Here's the reason why, here's the reason why, you see this why I'm, here's the reason why. Let's choke 20s, 20s, 20. Raise the stop to 20. Raise the stop to 20. Raise the stop to 20, 320. Okay, not 21, but 20. Okay. Twenty is your final stop. I have the alert at twenty-one, but it's twenty. Trail stop twenty. Trail stop twenty. Uh, Ted, you're out at three fifteen. Good. I typed it in the room and then I moved my stop. So I'm still in. How many of you guys are still in? Uh, still in Nasdaq. How many of you guys are still in Nasdaq with me? Laura, Jim, Francis, Keith, you're out. Uh, TB. Wow, you stayed in ES. Good job. Angeli. Okay, Laura, you're out. Okay. Okay, I am out now. Out, 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 out. Okay, 320 out. Okay, all right, good job everyone. Nice run. Okay, anybody need, uh, is anybody in any trades right now? Uh, I know some of you mentioned that you guys are in ES. Um, 
Last one, TB and ES. ES needs to break 98. 98 needs to break 98. Uh, but if you want a tighter trail, still 90 or 93. 90 or 93 depends on how you want to, if you want to choke it, it's 93. If you want to give it a little bit more room, it's 90. Okay. Anyone else in any trades? Okay. Guys, I'll be right back. I need to get some water. <laughs> Let me just grab some water and I'll be right back in one sec. Yeah, move your stop to 90. Okay, back. All right. Um, and this pretty much concludes today's session. Now, I want to talk a little bit about what can potentially happen in the afternoon. I think that, and most of the stocks here are having a green day. In, uh, and I'm really happy that um, we have held really well. Really happy that we have held really, really well uh, in these NASDAQ stocks, really well. Uh, Google daily rotation, like I said, NVIDIA, very strong, Baba sideways. These are all indications that NASDAQ is strong and may continue higher. Like I said, it can't go here. I literally have no desire. My intention was to try to, uh, try to close the trade into the London, uh, into the London session close because the London session closed yesterday was very choppy. Very, very choppy. And I didn't like that momentum. Uh, but like I said, definitely NASDAQ has room into the 40s. I don't, you know, like I think we had a pretty good, you know, reward on it. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, and I know, you know, some of you guys TB, Sam, you're still in SMP. So um, look for that 3,300. 3,300 is going to be the decision point. If 3,300 is going to be a resistance, any 15 minute rotation is going to take it down. Okay. 15 minute rotation is going to take it down. The reason for this move that has happened right now is the fact that we have been, uh, we have been basing off massive support. This bounce should have happened yesterday, not today, should have happened yesterday because we were trading into the same locations, right? The overnight trading session, so what the overnight trading session did, and we're gonna do a wrap here. Uh, let's take it to the one hour here and here and here. Okay, so what we did in the overnight trading session, see this pinch lower. This is just a retest lower and then a rotation back up off of basically a double bottom. So this is a double bottom on the daily. It's, we're not talking about double bottom here on the hourly. We're talking about the double bottom on the daily that I showed you guys plus the 200 SMA, right? So let me show you again why. So yesterday we were looking for a long into this location. Why? Because if, you cannot ignore this. You cannot say, oh, I see a red bar. Oh, I just have to be short because it's red. No, you have to look at the setup that is developing into that spot. And what has 2018, 19, and 2020 taught us 
is that to buy every pullback that is in an ongoing trend. And yes, we are. And I'm proud to say that we are still into a massive trend onto the weekly, onto the daily still, even though we have this hump lower. And again, here, just because the price is under these moving averages, of course, there is a lot of pressure. And again, this today is not going to be like, incredibly bullish day, but it's a bounce off of the double bottom. And to, uh, going into tomorrow, it's going to be pretty evident what's going to happen. If we trade over today's high, we're going to continue higher and we're going to be entering a short squeeze. So all of these shorts are going to be kicked out and the price is going to run higher, most likely into the 400 back again if the price is gonna remain relative weak. And remember, fundamentals today are gonna to play a big role because the fundamentals today from our earnings are going to play a big role into the directional bias for today. Remember, we don't have any other releases that are gonna impact the price. So basically now the market is running on these fundamentals, that's it. We are not gonna have any stimuluses. So I guess the stimulus talk is off the agenda until after election. Uh, and other than that, this is pretty much it. We're, uh, we're just, we have to look at fundamentals and that's why I'm watching the stocks. I'm always watching to see what these uh, big players within, uh, within these indices are, um, you know, are, are basically, uh, um, are doing okay so going back to the hourly chart like i said you know this is a bounce this bounce should have happened in yesterday's trading session uh and uh the overnight trading session a little bit of drama starting with 3 a.m again remember we had the ecb uh that punched the price lower and then we had the gdp numbers that punched the price higher uh and uh continuing higher in today's session off of this nice pin right here. So basically all the indices have had very nice uh, pinning of the bottoms in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, um, uh, th at the beginning of the New York trading session. And also here we have the low, we have the higher low. So this is a first indication that NASDAQ stocks uh, and including the index were uh, carrying a little bit more strength uh, to them. But we also saw the dip into Russell. And like I said before, Russell has a little bit stronger structure to the daily chart. So that's why, you know, you're seeing that it, it had a bigger pop, but we're getting now into the bullish above spots, right? So this is moderate bullish above. So any pop and any consolidation or any pullback development into this level uh, can potentially break the, bring the price higher into the, uh, into the 1560 spot. Um, Minor resistance here as well in NASDAQ. We have achieved this minor resistance. And as you can see here, like the, the air is getting a little thin. You know, um, we have 35, we had an ultimate target here of 40. It ran into 35.5. We trailed it. I'm fine with the trailing. We had good return on our trail. And uh, we could definitely see if, if and then notice one thing, we are trading above the bullish, uh, moderate bullish above zone. So anything, any formation here or any pullback, as long as we're holding the 90s, remember our entry, as long as we're holding the 90s, we're going to look for a continuation higher into the rest of the day. Uh, if we see any development, let's say on a 15 minute related, so you have to wait, not the 15. So from now on, the 15 minute is going to be uh, on watch. Okay. So you cannot ignore the structure. We have a low, higher low. We have a higher low right here and we have a higher low. So basically we have a bottom one, two, three higher low. So that means that we're still trading into a, a mostly bullish segment uh, into NASDAQ. So a uh, shorting is not going to be on the menu, at least not for me, at least not for me. So I'm not going to be the one that is going to say, hey, I'm going to short right now. After we see this massive move, basically we saw a rise in price from 144 into a high. Uh, and I'm, I'm just talking about the prior swing low to swing high into the 335.5. Uh, on the day, we're up 178, 179 points right now. 
and uh, we are 1.6% up. It is the most advanced index. And that was one of the reasons why we focused on NASDAQ because I looked at NASDAQ stocks. I saw that they're holding on super strong and they have the possibility for a continuation uh, for a continuation higher. Uh, now, the m and S&P, like I said, is still trading in a sideways range. We still have the support where we have the moderate, moderate, moderate bearish below. Remember, these levels are levels that can indicate a bearish momentum to the downside. But these are not levels where you can say, OK, I'm going to short this level and God knows where I'm going to put my stop. No, you have to have a pattern development. Remember, you have a pattern, you have a trade. You don't have a pattern, you don't have a trade. And patience pays off, OK? You don't have the patience to wait for the pattern and you just take it on the fly. You're going to accumulate losses after losses after losses. You're going to blow up your account, guaranteed, guaranteed. And again, if you don't have a plan, if you don't have a trading plan of your own, just follow my trades, only my trades. Just don't take trades on your own. There are some really amazing traders in this room that are doing their own stuff and they're doing their own trades and they're killing it, okay? But if you don't have a plan, please just don't take any other trades other than the ones that I post. And the other, the other thing is that when I pull a trade at a certain price, it's okay with this volatility if you get it even, let's say if you're getting a YM maybe three points higher or even five points above the entry. Uh, if I call S&P, let's say if you have a two point slip or if you're getting a two to three, a two to three ticks above the entry price for long, for instance, uh, or below uh, three ticks below uh, the entry price, but don't ask me, like after it had a tremendous run like this, don't ask me, is this a good entry at 3,300 to get along? Like you have missed a whole point, okay? And you have missed a whole rally. No, we're here. We only trade for a couple hours a day. So undivided attention. And then we're literally off. We could do whatever we want. But again, please take it at the trigger. Don't get it five points above or 10 points above or just say, hey, it's a long, it's trading into the long spot. I'm just going to jump in. You're going to blow up your account. Please, whenever you do that, and I know sometimes it's tempting, don't think that when I see like green, 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 I'm going like, oh my gosh, I'm missing the move. Or if I'm seeing red, 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 I'm seeing, oh my gosh, I'm missing the move. It's a momentum down, okay? So don't focus on the bars, focus on the strategy and focus on those key locations and the key locations that we have here on charts and focus on the rotations that are happening within these areas. So it is very important to focus on the setup within, uh, within every single uh, index, uh, setups that are developing in indices, setups that are develop developing everywhere, okay? So set up is key. We have a setup into one of these key locations. We don't just buy a support or sell at resistance. We have to wait for price confirmation into that area. And price confirmation always comes from um, um, rotations, right? From, from formations, from strategies, right? So it's not only a rotation. Remember, we have actually 10 strategies that we're applying and we're teaching in the class. There are 10 strategies, right? 10 strategies. So it's not only a buy or a sell or any, you know, and all rotations. So we're looking at ranges, we're looking at sandwiches, we're looking at dojis, we're looking at inside, uh, inside ranges, inside prices. In, 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 like we have a plethora of, of other strategies. A uh, little bombed today because this is my signature trade. Uh, that, and like I said, don't let anybody influence you. It's the worst thing that you can do. Let somebody influence you. Don't listen to any watercolor discussions, whether you're, tra whether you're listening in to one of your uh, friends or pals that you're, you know, talking, trading about, or whether it's CNBC or Bloomberg or whatever. No, do your own thing. You're going to overperform any Body that you know if you're applying your own strategy and your own feel on the market. So what I'm saying is that I missed and I bombed, 100% bombed because this would have been a fantastic trade. Like I said, uh, we talk about this strategy every single time when it forms. This Can anybody tell me what candle this is? Those of you guys that, are, that took the class this week, 
tell me what uh tell me what this is this is a pullback where this is a pullback into a confluence area and again michael you got it tb you got it everybody in here okay thanks so much it is a hammer candle this is a strong indication that the price is rotating this would have been your target one right here this would have been your target one because this is resistance and this moderate bear, moderate bear, bearish below spot represents resistance and a break of that resistance. And uh, here we have the continuation. So we had a beautiful move higher and we issued immediately a continuation higher and then a continuation after that into this resistance spot into the 450. So four, 400 and 450 would have been the target. The first, well, actually the first target would have been into the 280. Then we'd have had, uh, after the 280, we would have had the 300 and then we have velocity all the way into the 400 spot, okay? And, and again, Doji man, such a well-defined risk. I mean, guys, this is such a well-defined risk. And by the way, this happened on, uh, this happened into the mini SMP. Mini SMP was not as, fun to trade as YM, okay? Not as fun to trade as YM, but definitely beautiful, beautiful. And this this was a range bound action. So you, th there was no setup happening in NASDAQ at that time. This was incredibly aggressive and it was the most beautiful short squeeze like ever, uh, not ever, but anyways, uh, this was a little choppy. So Russell, I would have done Russell and I said, Russell, I'm gonna, you know, sit aside, not gonna do Russell. But again, this one really bombed. I miss it. My fault, and it's my fault, because we could have had a much, much greener day because uh I called the trade in NASDAQ shortly after I posted SP and YM all longs. And then here, uh after so basically after this happened, we had to wait. And then again, the, vol the velocity came into the spot. This, 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 you, so we could have had not only those, you know, three trades plus the oil. And again, oil is not for everybody I understand because of the high risk, because it was off the 30 minute chart. And it start, started out off as an asymmetric trade with a very small target. But again, it continued higher and the rest of the targets were done by trailing. Uh, but the thing here is that, you know, this, we could have had like another, uh, another, 100 to 150 points uh, day, uh 150 points accumulated in uh in ym but this time around was uh was uh was not bad you know either you know in uh in ym so yeah so anyways overall it was a good day much better than yesterday's price action yesterday's price action was dominated by sellers it was pretty much organized selling uh yeah it, ym was uh 500 was 500 by 545 and the target was 550. the next target was 600 but the trial stop was 550. that's right and uh the AM mini smp was 88 by 69 and there were targets into 90 95 and the whole number okay yeah that was it um and uh that's pretty much it guys now i don't expect you know much price action activity into the pm session uh there can potentially be a price runner up into the stocks that are due to report um that is an apple and google which are holding super strong amazon is a little bit sideways right now uh but expect these stocks and also facebook these could be a runner-up stocks uh, runner-up price into earnings and this can drive the price of nasdaq a little bit higher or we could have a completely range bound uh action into earnings okay this was it this is it for today guys hope you guys had a really great day how many of you guys are green in the room right now how many of you guys are still green in the room right now very green awesome awesome okay good job okay guys thank you <laughs> okay now um <laughs> the arizona retreat sounds great we have to decide on a date yeah we have to decide on a date and we could trade together that would be cool okay so let me know if you guys have any questions let me know if you guys have any questions. Yeah, and by the way, for those of you that are in the Power Income Futures day trading course, uh, today we have day four in the course. 
Uh, today, we're going to talk about strategies and how to apply strategies. And it's going to be an application course. It's something that we have never done before. We are not teaching it off the of slides. We're not teaching it off the manual this time around. We are teaching it in live market environment and try to deploy as many strategies as we can uh, with, uh, with the timing that we can. Uh, th that we can. Uh, Jerry, uh, are you still in Go? I actually stopped out of Go, -Go but I was looking at it this morning because I still have alerts on it. Uh, if we if it should go, um, it, it's on massive support right here into the 850, 850 massive support. So uh, if you're still in, put the stop eight under 850, and uh, on any weekly rotation, this is going to go back up. So I may call it again next week. But again, I stopped out of GoGo, -Go and uh, I'm looking to recharge next week if it should trade over nine dollars and fifty five cents or so. Oh, thank you, Doji man. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I think that, you know, this was a different take because I've noticed that, you know, there are a lot of situations in the market and here's the difference. You know, it's one thing when you teach the manual and everything is static. I try to bring in every time when we teach the course, we always look at charts that are happening within that week and that day that we teach, uh, you know, to show real, uh, uh, real time examples. I hate to teach something that is off a static, you know, like a static manual where, um, you know, uh, uh, where you have a chart that is like from three weeks ago or three months ago or three years ago. And it's like, okay, this is an uptrend, higher highs and higher lows. Okay, this is perfect. But the market conditions changes, you know, and it's, uh, I, th I think that traders, uh, you know, um, and I know when I first started trading, this is the one thing that I wanted action, right? So show me in real time to show me the action in real time. Don't show me a slide and say, okay, that's the perfect uptrend. That's the perfect downtrend. This is how you should buy. This is a buy setup. This is a rotation. Uh, this is, you know, uh, this is the entry. This is the stop. No, show me how it's happening in real time. Okay. And that's what we, uh, that was my main goal. Uh, for this uh, for this unusual application five day courses and by the way we're going to continue next week as well we have another day uh, with us on Monday all right so this is it for today guys uh, live, um, <laughs> yeah I, I I think that is the most important because uh, especially during pandemic election cycle so we're all trading together like, like I said you know it's not a shock. Uh, when I first started, you know, uh, tr retail trading, I am so fortunate that I had a mentor that showed me and say, hey, step away with what you have learned from books, from manuals or from whatever, you know, where you have learned, uh, you know, how to trade. It's a little bit different. So uh, it has a little bit different approach. So yeah, it's support resistance, but there are 78 layers of that support resistance and you have to take into consideration confluence zones. And the trend is going to be your friend all around. And you have to make sure that you, you know, trade your uh, uh, strategy until it doesn't work. So that means that if it fails one time or two times or three times, uh, and uh, then look at the structure again. It's not you, but it's the market that is not responsive. And then it means that it has, you know, certain, um, you know, like we had yesterday that massive distribution. But today it looks a uh, looks so much different. Okay, Jerry, targets, uh, uh, targets for GoGo, -Go. targets for GoGo. -Go. Well, first off, we need to see it over uh, over nine fifty three. If you're talking about GoGo, -Go. uh, we need to see it over five. No, not go go. Okay. Target for what? Twitter. Oh my God, are you still in Twitter? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let me show you the targets. Okay, just one second, just uh, bear with me because uh, this Zoom room is acting up and sometimes is not letting me do whatever I want with it. Okay, here we go. All right.
right. All right, let me know. Um, let me know if you guys can see it. Twitter. Okay, so Jerry, you're asking about Twitter. Okay, so Twitter's trading into a 5250 spot. 5250 uh, is resistance. It's deriving from these prior highs right here. Okay, you see these prior highs. We just broke out above these. I, I call these double tops into the $46, but it has room to run into uh, 53. Yeah, and more so 56. If these would be the immediate targets. Okay, these would be the immediate targets. Earnings today, so don't forget earnings today. Okay, any other question? Any other question? Anything that you guys? Okay. Yeah, this one is, see this one is, an, uh, this is a sandwich on the weekly. And on the daily, you know, it's just sideways, gapped up, sideways, no entry so far. So if you're in, you're in. If you're not in, uh, no entries right now. So if you're in, you're in, but no entries right now. So if you're in, let me know if you need targets or anything. But if you're not in, no entries. Targets. Well, basically, let's see here. Okay, your next target would be into 3050, then 30, 31 spot, 31, uh, I'm sorry, 32, okay? So first target 3050, and then look for close to 32, 3198, you have an extension. Okay. Yeah, of course. Just let me know if you guys need any help with anything. Just let me know. Okay. All right, guys, this is a wrap. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same place, same time. And have a great rest of the day. Bye, guys.